Greetings. If you're watching this little bit of film here, you've either stumbled in or been given very specific instructions on how to access this film. This is what is known in the DVD trade as an Easter egg. It's a bit of hidden content that can be placed on a DVD. It's something that's fun to do, and we have some content that may not fit in with the main subject. We like to just add that on as an extra. This is film of some early German tailless aircraft research. This particular aircraft we're seeing right here is an aircraft designed and built by Alexander Lippisch called the Storch 5, or Stork 5. There were nine aircraft in the Storch series. This particular one was the first to be fitted with an engine in September 1929. The Storch series was followed by Lippisch's Delta series, and the Delta series led directly to the DFS-194 rocket-propelled aircraft, which was the direct precursor to the ME-163 A and B that are the subject of this DVD package. Now, in just a moment here, we're going to see another uh, tailless aircraft designed by Alexander Soldenhoff and Gottlob Espenlaub. Uh, Espenlaub also experimented with rocket-propelled gliders in the late 20s. This particular aircraft is called the Soldenhoff LF-5. There's an absurdity to the design of this aircraft that really appeals to me. It amazes me that they managed to get it off the ground. We're going to see some footage of it flying here in just a moment. What's even more remarkable is that this aircraft is flying with what appears to be no yaw control whatsoever. There's, there's not even a hint of a rudder at the end of the fuselage or on the ends of the, the, uh, the wings. Now, neither Soldenhoff nor Espenlaub had the long-term impact on aircraft design that Lippisch did with his tailless aircraft designs. You can see the fingerprints of Lippisch on such designs as the de Havilland DH-108, which was flown in Great Britain during the 50s, and also on the Bell X-4 research aircraft, which was flown in the post-war years. Anyway, this is just a little bit of uh, intriguing footage. I certainly hope you enjoy it. 